In the height of the machinist era, industrial growth boomed. The waste was dumped into the ocean. It seemed like a quick way to reap all the benefits. But at what toll to the creatures who inhabited the deep? With all the waste being deposited at their doorstep, a once clean ocean now reeks of despair. One creature refuses to go belly up, making parts of the very machines who delivered this chaos. The machinist fabricates an apparatus to keep his breathing at minimal capacity. With the sacrifice of his nose, he is able to filter fresh water into his gills and survive. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. All right, we did it, we're here. This is the top 20 challenge in Machinist. Now I hope you guys enjoyed my look. He is based off of Immortion Joe from Mad Max and Bootstrap Bill from Pirates of the Caribbean. I had so much fun with this look. Being able to sculpt some prosthetics, making my breathing apparatus from scratch, just all around doing makeup. That's what being a makeup artist is all about, being able to express your true creativity. As I was thinking of ideas about my makeup, I was like, well, I need to do something that represents me, so what better than an undersea creature? Now, just a few things to remember. We are hashtag Team Caleb and hashtag Team Captain. I will be checking these hashtags every day. Now, I know we can make it to the top 12 together. If you like me, if you like my look, please share, like, or if you like Lou, Lou really wants me to make it to the top 12. See, he does. If we make it to the top 12, we get to do another unboxing video along with another makeup challenge. So please, 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 I need your help getting into the top 12. I cannot thank you guys enough. I will keep doing my makeup and you guys just keep sharing and loving and supporting me like you already do. Now, if you guys wanna see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. Now, you guys know I always like to prep my face and lately I've been doing that with the Vici Laboratories Mineral 89 Skin Fortifying Booster. This stuff is heaven in a bottle. You just take two squirts, rub it a little bit, put it all over your face. Since I've been using this, it's brightened my complexion, kept my skin moisturized, and just leaves me feeling fresh throughout the day. Now listen, living in a desert, my skin starts to get pretty scaly, but I just use two pumps of this stuff, feeling great. Now VG does have a website where you can order your own, it's www.vg.com. And it's made in France, y'all! So what are you waiting for? Go get your own. Hello friends, and so starts the voiceover. Now I have to slick down these massive eyebrows by using my glue stick, smooth it out with water, and then go over it while it's still tacky with some translucent powder. Now I'm just laying a base coat of glue. I use Prosade, let that dry. Then I'm going to cover my mouth using some saran wrap, trim off the edges, add another layer of glue so my paint sticks. While I'm applying my gill prosthetics, I will be showing you the process in pictures in the upper left hand corner. In my makeup application, I like to go over those edges. Edges are not my friend and I like to get rid of them as best I can. If you go over your edges with an orange stipple sponge, it will break the edges up with texture and help make it seamless. In the upper left hand corner is the process of me sculpting the starfish. I took a head form, used some wet clay, and got started on my realistic starfish prosthetic. To add texture in the prosthetic, I ended up shoving some beads in the sculpture to create coral and barnacles. Now this next step is is crucial for my makeup application. I will not be able to breathe through my nose, so I'm taking a plastic spatula to create airways. After I know I can breathe properly, I start to glue down the starfish by using a silicone adhesive called Telesis. After it's on nice and tight, I'm going to give you all a show so I can start painting this thing up. Before paint, I'm gonna start gluing down my barnacles so I will be able to paint around them. If you look up, powder isn't just for your nose, guys and gals, you can use it to knock down texture on your sculpture. Taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in shade Milk, I'm going to map out where my cut's going to be. The NYX SFX Cream Color, I'm going to lay down a base. I don't like making it too thick, I like to leave some breakup and make it so my makeup isn't as cakey. Taking the NYX SFX Cream Color in green, I'm going to add some breakup and sponge that all over my face. Next, I'm going to take a chip brush and some alcohol paints and flick it all over my face to add even more breakup. Going in with my airbrush, I'm going to add some modeling and create some veining texture to really give my makeup some life. Above me in the little video, I'm starting to mold my sculpture by adding a thin layer of 
hydrocal. As each layer dries, you're going to add another layer with a strength or a bonder in the middle, such as burlap. I will have a future video of molding up on my YouTube channel in the near future. Back to the makeup, I'm going to be using the NYX Vivid Brights in Cyber Pop to create my cuts and make my eyes sunken in. You know, because we're not a very healthy sea creature. We're going to go in with the NYX Vivid Brights cream color in shade Bad Blood and create some depth. Now I found that if your creams are not as creamy as you'd like, you can take some olive oil and mix a tiny bit with your color to make it glide so much better. Then I'm going to go in with my NYX Vivid Brights cream color in shade Aqua Sapphire and apply that all above my top lid. But wait, there's more. I'm going to be applying my chest piece while going back in and repeating the same painting process as I did on the face down on my chest. In my video of me molding, I'm going to be going in with some burlap soaked in hydrocal to create my strength layer, and after that layer is finished, I'm going to go back in with a peanut butter coat to make the mold smooth and strong as ever. Now I'm adding more cuts down by the porthole part of my makeup. I really want to convey that this machinery is keeping him alive. Going in with the NYX SFX cream color in gold, I'm going to create some sutures to keep those cuts all together and to create a more machinist type of look. Now I'm going to talk about my breathing apparatus. The tentacles that you see pictured above are actually made out of pool noodles, and I bought some really cheap plastic piping from a thrift store because, you know, I'm bougie as hell. Also, I'm pretty much married to my glue gun and my spray paint, so that really helps. Now back to my makeup. To really make it look like my skin is stretched, I'm going to add shadows and highlights on top and underneath the sutures. Using a bright yellow water activated makeup, I'm just adding a little bit of highlight on top and I'm going in with the NYX Shimmer Down Pigment in shade Almond to give that rustic, metallic look. One of the finishing touches, I'm going to grab a gunky old pirate wig that I styled along with making some seaweed out of trash bags and throw it on top of my head. I always like to go in and add some finishing touches, a little more highlight, a little more depth, and off camera I used the volumizing NYX Double Stacked Mascara. Mm -hmm. 